Hey, what's up, guys? Kendrick Dish here, founder of Shoot for Results and Kendrick Dish Creative. And I have just super quick video where I solved a problem and I wanted you guys to have the solution too. Uh, the problem is, is that sometimes YouTube doesn't work. Uh, what specifically what doesn't work is a get or error that says this can't be found. Um, and there's no real information about what's causing the error or what's happening. And so what I figured out is that it happens in Chrome and it happens on YouTube. And the, that combination of two things uh, happens on my computers on a somewhat frequent basis. And so, you know, digging around, I finally figured out the solution uh, through other people and I don't remember where I found it. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and make a video sharing the solution so other people who might have this error can maybe find a video that helps them go through it. So I'm gonna pull up my screen and show you the error and then show you the solution. And it takes about 20 seconds to do. It's pretty easy. Jumping over to the computer. Okay, so what, what happens is you, you go to youtube.com, you try and visit somebody's channel. This is when it happens the most to me. You try and visit a channel, even my own channel. I get a, a 400 error. And there's no other information about what kind of error it is. So in the Chrome, you go to more tools and you go to developer tools. And then you do a search in your cookies for YouTube and you come scroll down here and you find where it says anything that GS scroll. And there's a whole bunch of them. And I think what happens is uh, that's it's causes a problem when there's too many of them. And so what you gotta do is you gotta delete them. Now you can't delete them all at once or I don't know how to delete them all at once. Uh, and so you just click on it and hit delete. Click on one of them, hit delete. You can do it on the keyboard too. So once I figure that out, just delete, 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 and delete and delete. And then we're done. We just X out of that. Now we try and visit YouTube again. And we go to somebody's channel, even my own, and it works just fine. So I don't know why that happens. And you would think that, that since Google owns Chrome and Google owns YouTube, that they would have a solution for this, but it's been happening for years and the solution is not that well known. So hopefully if you're having this error, you've found this video helpful and I appreciate a thumbs up if that's the case or subscribe. If you like digital stuff, if you like learning about computers and software and cameras and the some of the other tools that help us get through this digital life that's what this channel is all about i appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you on the next one